right, I have a small little Kroger haul and the dogs are behind me eating. So it's a little loud and it is messy in here. I got a sink full of dishes. I got lots of cleaning to do, but I just wanted to add this to my grocery haul this week. Um, what did I spend? 20, no, right at 30 bucks. So I'm just gonna show y'all, y'all everything's a mess here. So please forgive me. So I got some Kroger brand white chocolate mocha creamer. Um, I got three of the Kroger brand sodas. We haven't been really drinking soda, but I got all zero sugar. So this is the orange uh, soda, the cherry cola. I actually thought I got black cherry uh, and ginger ale, and they are all zero sugar. So, so we have something to drink in the house. Uh, I did get some milk. I always hit the Clarence at Kroger. They have the best Clarence. So this is just chicken bouillon, and y'all, it was um, on sale for a dollar twenty-nine, um, down from three seventy-four. So I thought that was a good deal. I picked that up. Uh, Cheetos were on sale, so I got Nick this bag of Cheeto puffs. Goldfish were on sale, so I got this Dunkin' Pumpkin Spice Graham Cracker one. So I thought my grandbabies might like that when they come over or I'm out with them. I needed some more coffee. This community coffee was on sale for $4.99, and I thought I would try this pecan praline. Doesn't that sound good? And then I also found this Lemmy Shine Disinfecting Cleaner, no bleach. And y'all, this was on sale for $0.99. Cents. And I also picked up this uh, prosciutto. And this was on sale for $1.49, so I thought that was a good deal. Does it say how much it normally is? Uh, no, but that's a good deal. And then I just got some of these yogurts. I got five of these yogurts, these Carb Masters. So I got lime, peach, uh, white chocolate, raspberry, and cherry, and then raspberry on the bottom. So y'all, that is it for my Kroger haul. I'll come back and let you see what else I got. Why this time of year is it so hard to see while driving? The sun, no matter what time of day it is, it is always in your eyeballs. Like it is low, it is in your eyeballs, or it's in your mirror, blinding the daylights out of you. Or you don't need air, like it's a nice, cool 67 degrees right now. I don't need my air on, but my window fogs up, so I have to turn the defrost on and turn the air on so that the window doesn't fog up. I mean, come on. <laughs> I just wanted to pop in here. Y'all, we're in the middle of a grocery haul, right? And the next clip I have is a few things that I bought at H-E-B. So H-E-B just opened. It's been open uh, probably close to about two weeks now um, here in Dallas. Um, if you do not know, H-E-B is a Texas-based grocery store. Um, they have never really been in the Dallas Fort Worth area up north north and north central Texas it was always a south Texas based grocery store they have a lot of Texas themed foods they have they make a lot of stuff in house the tortillas and barbecue and salsas and bakery items and they're just very well known anytime you hear someone say that they're going to south Texas you always hear them say and we're stopping by H-E-B anytime we would go down to like San Antonio or Austin or anywhere that we were going to go for a vacation down to the um, beaches. We always stopped into H-E-B to go get the food and the munchies and stuff that we were going to keep with us while we were on the trip. So there was a, I guess, an agreement years ago uh, with H-E-B and I think Albertsons. So Albertsons agreed to only build stores in North Texas and H-E-B agreed to only build stores in South Texas, which is really a weird agreement to make. So North Texas has always been a little jealous of not having an H-E-B. So needless to say, we are finally getting them built up here. So I will do a whole shop with me. We will go see the inside of the store, but right now it is so new. You have to wait in line to get into the grocery store. In fact, I'm going to put a picture up now that's going to show you the line that I stood in. And then another picture that I took just stand, standing in one spot waiting to move to shop. So both of those pictures will be up here. Um, yeah. So I did not get to shop the way I wanted to. 
there was so many people there, Nick refused to go in. <laughs> he wanted to go, and then he refused to go in. So I learned from my kids who went there to um, download the app, which I've not done. So I guess the app, you go in, you scan something, and you get like an item for free or discounts or something. I did sign up to be able to do digital coupons, but I didn't realize that there was app-only items. So I'm going to download the app. Um, it's over in Frisco, so it is, um, I mean, it's, I'm, sh I'm shopping in Frisco all the time anyway because everything is centrally located there. Um, so about 15 minute drive for me, not that bad. I mean, if I just need something for the night, am I going to drive all the way up there? No. But um, it's like any place where you have to um, just check your prices and see who has the best prices. They do have things that you're only going to find at that store. About a couple of things that I'm really excited about that we do really love. So I'm going to let you see that clip now. Just a few items. Uh, this was by no means like a big grocery haul. This was just picking up a few items from here, from here, from there. Prices are super expensive. Uh, picking up things that are on sale is definitely the way that I'm trying to do my shopping. This stuff is on sale at this store at a super rock bottom price. I'm going to run and get it, you know, and then I'll make my decision on where I want to get the everyday stuff that may not be on sale, you know, week by week. But um, it was a lot of fun, like I said, but I did not get to do any big shopping. I only picked up a couple of items. I literally was stuck to the perimeter of the store. Trying to get up and down the aisles was just really, really difficult. So inside the store, they had coupons hanging on the shelves. I don't know if that's like just a grand opening thing or if that's an all the time. Like I bought some coffee and there was a coupon for the coffee hanging on a hook in front of it. So like I said, I, I don't know if that's an all the time thing. But if y'all are here from Texas and you go to HEB, y'all let me know what your favorite items are that you get from there, especially if you are like just an avid HEB shopper. You have one near you. You shop at it all the time. Um, otherwise, for those of you that were like, what is HEB? <laughs> it is HEB. And um, I will definitely take you inside the store and we'll go shop as soon as it calms down a little bit. Maybe next month. <laughs> but uh, I'm probably going to run by there. Friday, I'm going to see my parents, and I may stop by there and pick up a couple things. I think I'll, I know they'll like, and maybe in the morning it won't be busy. Maybe I can get filled in if not. So I will uh, let you watch that clip now, and then after that, I have a clip from Winco. So we're going to finish out the grocery haul here. Just wanted to pop in and talk for a few minutes, and I will uh, finish out the clips. All right, y'all, I went into the new HEB. I just picked up a couple of things because Nick has to get to work. And it was super crowded. I had to wait in line to get in. I'll flash a picture of me waiting in line. And uh, there's no way you're gonna film in the store anytime soon. So I just got a couple of things. So I'm gonna show you what I got. So I got a dozen eggs. I got this bag of fully cooked jalapeno cheese kolaches. Nick is gonna love these. This was like $7, $7.99. Perfect for breakfast and snacks. Uh, I got the HEB thin. Oops, sorry. Dill pickle chips. I got this Cafe Olay look snickerdoodle cookie. Looky there. Apparently the, is it Dallas blend? Everybody was buying. I got these pumpkin spice sandwich cookies. These are so good. I've already had one. So be perfect with cup of coffee. Uh, I got some margarine. I got some uh, Splenda. I got this uh, Texas brew sweet tea. I got a package of the, or a bag of these Moondrop grapes. These were 67 cents a pound. These potatoes were two bags, two five pound bags for $1. And then I got some Persil. There was a coupon hanging for that, which made this only $9, which if y'all know, Persil is quite expensive. So that's it. What I got at the HEB, when it slows down, we'll go in there, do a walkthrough and see what's really worth it and what's not. I just wanted to add this to my other grocery haul. Okay, y'all, this is the rest of my grocery haul. Like I said, just little bits and pieces. Went to a few different stores to pick up a few different things. Y'all, this right here, I'm gonna give y'all over shot. Okay, this right here, all that, over 50 bucks. Are you kidding me? Prices, I just noticed like every single thing, prices have went up. So let's jump in, I'm gonna show you what I got. This is from Winco. I got a dozen eggs. I got a bag of these Pink Lady Apples. I got a bag of the little mini peppers. 
I got some bananas. I mean, I got four bananas was 82 cents. It's probably the best deal. I am always picking up some canned goods, two or three, every time I go, just so I always have them. And these were 50 cents, and now they're, I think, 58 cents, and this one's like 70 cents now. So, I did pick up some chicken. It is $2.98, so... You better believe she draw, She dug through to find the cheapest one. I'm going to actually put this tomorrow. I'm going to put this in the crock pot. I'm cooking all this up. I'm just going to cook it all up in the crock pot. Lightly season it. Put it in there with a little bit of water. And then I'm going to shred it up. Separate it. And use it for different recipes. Just have it kind of meal prepped. I got these brown and served. These also went up in price. I don't remember what they were. But they were a lot more than what they used to be. They used to be like under a buck. Like 98 cents. Now they were like $1.78. But these are easy to pop in the air fryer for Nick in the morning for breakfast. I got these because I thought these were kind of neat. These little bitty uh, Mission Tortillas. So, so they're keto friendly. They're zero net carbs. And they are only 25 calories each. So I thought I'd get them. I was out of onion powder. So I picked that up. I got a package of the broccoli and rice mix. This was 78 cents. I got some more margarine just to keep on hand. Um, and then this stuff is actually for a recipe. I got two of the crescent dough sheets. I got some chicken deli ham. And from the deli, I got this Hawaiian ham. It's really good. And then I've never heard of this brand, but this was the cheaper of the sliced cheese. So I got some provolone and some marble jack. So that is it for my grocery haul. Kind of pieced together a little bit here and there this week. Oh, y'all, if you have not subscribed already, y'all, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below. I love chit-chatting with you guys. And thumbs up the video. That helps me so much. And y'all remember to thank God for today because it truly is a gift. And I will see y'all in the next one. Say bye, Nala. Say bye-bye. See y'all next time.